I am Kirsten Hunter. I'm the director of Lifespan Ministries here at South Church, and it is my distinct honor to be recording this video right now with Reverend Ellen Quadgrass, who is our candidate minister, who will be coming to see us on May 8th through the 15th uh, for Candidating Week at South Church. And just what an honor, Ellen, to be um, to be able to be the first person on a screen with you saying welcome to South Church. Oh, thank you, Kirsten. Well, it is an honor to be the candidate for South Church. I have been looking forward to this potential opportunity for quite some time, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be chosen to be your candidate. I have heard so many good things about you. I heard so many good things about you before I met you. Uh, and I've heard so many good things about the congregation at South Church. And I've really enjoyed working with the search committee and meeting them. And, and I've really enjoyed working with you. Uh, so far, we've talked a couple of times and I've always gotten a lot out of those conversations. And uh, I'm I'm excited. I, I feel a, a very good vibe uh, uh, at, from South Church, and uh, and I feel the excitement uh, and the hope and um, the the anticipation and maybe just a little bit of anxiety, uh, which I think is healthy and human and good. Um, I was thinking about as I as I'm anticipating the potential of coming to serve your congregation of this image of going to an amusement park with your favorite cousins where we're like metaphorically holding our hands as we go into the maze or as we do the merry-go-round or as we anticipate possibly going on to the big roller coaster. Uh, we are in it together is how I see it. And that's part of what I love about um, South Church is that whole sense of, of doing this as a group, as a team. Yeah, you, you know, uh, we did. We've had a chance to have a few conversations over the last month or two, and um, it has been so apparent uh, what a sort of collaborative spirit you have um, mm -hmm. and how how deeply you see the benefit of co-creation and um, support. Uh, there is such a remarkable staff team at South Church, um, and I, I can just I can already see how you're going to fit, even though you haven't gotten to meet them yet, um, with those folks. And also, just uh, I've noticed in our conversations a real um, appreciation for meeting people where they are and for embracing imperfection and uh, transition and change and um, yeah, just kind of uh, coming into the whole of things. And I, and, I, and I know that that is going to be a welcomed spirit in this moment as we're re-emerging from a really intense few years uh, and a whole lot of unanticipated transitions as well as anticipated ones. Um, when you and I spoke uh, in one of our conversations, you had talked about your vision of what church community is all about. And all I could think was how, how well are the sort of the structure of our church, the, the pieces of our church, our shared ministry program, um, our new collaborative leadership model, uh, the ways that our staff team work together all really feel like they will help foster that vision. So I wonder if you'd share a little bit about what that vision is for folks that are listening. Yeah, thanks, Kirsten. So to me, the essential elements of spiritual community are relationship mm -hmm. and uh, connection with something greater than ourselves. And we define that in a lot of different ways and service to each other and to the world. Mm -hmm. And the way that South Church is working with your new model, to me, really allows those three essential aspects of community to work together in a particularly powerful and beautiful way that I think allows folks to deepen their spiritual journey uh, through their involvement in the church. So, um, so that's one of the things I'm excited about, what you're already doing and what I want to work with you on to potentially even deepen that. Yes. 
Oh, me too. So much. Um, I know. I know. I shared with you how I think of uh, South Church as um, a practice space for how we live our faith out into the wider world as well. And um, and I can just I can just see so many opportunities for practice ahead uh, in 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 our development of our working relationship with one another, but also in the ways that um, we evolve into the coming era of whatever is ahead for this church yeah. community as a whole. Yeah, yeah, the, we live in interesting times, as they say. And I think spiritual community, I think it's gonna be ever more important uh, in people's lives. Um, and there's a real opportunity for each of us to dig into that and to discover more of ourselves and more of what's possible. And I'm really looking forward to doing that with you uh, and with the rest of the South Church community. Yes, and that reminds me of one more thing that I remember hearing in our conversation, which was around having church be something that's meaningful and enriching in our lives that is um, that isn't at all uh, a stretch on us, but feeds us uh, and yes. engages us in ways that feel positive um, and add to our ability to thrive. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to work on that with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. We don't want to add things to your to-do list. We want to deepen your experience of life. Um, and let's figure out how to do that together. Let's welcome Ellen. <laughs> Thank you, Kirsten. We'll see you in May. Cannot wait. So looking forward to it.